September 28 Ted Williams is the last player to hit .400 on this day in 1941, the Boston Red Sox's Ted Williams plays a doubleheader against the Philadelphia Athletics on the last day of the regular season and gets six hits and eight trips to the plate, boosting his batting average to 406 and become the first player since Bill Terry in 1930 to hit .400. Williams, who spent his entire career with the Sox, played his final game exactly 19 years later, on September 28, 1960, at Boston's Fenway Park and hit a home run in his last bat, a total of 521 home runs. Williams was born on August 30, 1918, in San Diego, and began his major league career with the Red Sox in 1939. 1941 marked Williams' best season. In addition to his .406 batting average no major league player, since he has hit. 400 the left fielder led the league with 37 homers, 135 runs, and had a slugging average of 735. Also that season, Williams, whose nicknames included the Splendid Splinter and the Thumper, had an on-base percentage of 553, a record that remained unbroken for 61 years until Barry Bonds achieved a .582 in 2002. In 1942, Williams won the American League Triple Crown, the highest batting average in the RBIs and home runs. He duplicated the feat in 1947. In 1946 and 1949, he was named American League's most valuable player and in June 1960, he became the fourth player in Major League history to hit 500 homers. He was selected to the All-Star team 17 times. Williams played his last game on September 28, 1960, and retired with a lifetime batting average of 344, a .483 career on base percentage, and 2,654 hits. Williams was a Marine Corps pilot during World War II and the Korean War and lost a total of nearly five seasons from baseball. Williams, who was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1966, managed the Washington Senators, renamed the Texas Rangers in 1972, from 1969 to 1972. In 1984, the Boston Red Sox retired his uniform number, 9. Williams died of cardiac arrest at age 83 on July 5, 2002, in Florida. In a controversial move, his son sent his father to be frozen at a cryonics laboratory 